talked about sort of the financial stuff, going back into work and things. Mm. Um, a few players have you know, gone down maybe not, not great paths, I yeah. guess, after their careers in terms of finance and what have you. So Brian Robson has started up a new company, hasn't he, to help high performance? I didn't know. Yeah, but I saw when you put yeah. the notes, I saw that. I didn't realise what that was about. So, yeah. Yeah, it's to help advise and guide players okay. through their financial yeah. decision making, really. So what was your experience leaving football? into that it's been tough it's been tough because you know you have 20 years as a player and it's a big if big if but if players of today have a 20 years career like what I had then they shouldn't have any money worries at all at the end of their career if they've put their money where they should do in the right places and the problem as players I think you know we're quite uh, trusting um, yeah. most of the boys are like me you know you sort of start in a council estate and then you go to your comprehensive school and you don't really bother with the education because you want to play football so yeah. you don't really learn or don't have to learn what life's about and then all of a sudden you apprentice and all of a sudden you get as in today's case you get you know you you not even made one appearance <laughs> the first team you get three grand a week and yeah. you know once you make that one, one appearance you'll be on ten grand a week which is phenomenal money Crazy, for a yeah. 17, 18 year old to deal with uh, and there's still a lot of sharks out there. So if Brian is doing that, that's great. You know, I, I like Robbo. He's, he's a great lad, you know, so if he's doing that, yeah. I think that's that's a really good thing. Um, but, you know, we, we are gullible. You know, myself, I, you know, I, I sort of had a guy sort of, I wouldn't say con me, but he sort of got me, advised me to invest in something and, you know, I'm still waiting for the payout now, you know, and this is 15 years down the line, so oh, yeah. it doesn't really help. Um but uh, yeah, I just hope that the modern day footballers, they, they listen to the right people and the right people help them. Um, you know, because you are trusting, but you know, unfortunately, Uncle John is not always the best person to advise you where to put your money. Yeah, and that's the problem you have with the players. You can catch the full episode here, and you can subscribe to the channel here.